it's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity and today we are visiting an installation that we installed one year ago and how fun it'll be to walk through this garden with you and show you what is growing on. Now a little backstory we have a client that's very active she'll come out here she pulls weeds she cleans up detritus she trims spent blooms um, she also took it upon herself to remove some cotyledon that had just kind of run amok and taken over. So she's, she's pretty hands-on. But still in all, we've got some stuff going on. So looky here at this mangave. This is, looks like jaguar. See all of the mealybug. See that white powdery stuff in there? That's mealybug. So we will address that and stay tuned. I will tell you how I'm going to do it when we get to the end because we have some other things to look at here too. You can see, you know, little things um, of import when we do a maintenance, like how this pot is shifted. We need to straighten that back up. Um, overall, you know, everything is just fantastic. This was a little sad. This is an aloe ferox and it has alamite really bad see that gigantic canker in there and I thought well you know what maybe maybe we can save it if we cut above the canker but then I noticed we've got the the alamite is starting to spread up higher on the on the leaves so I think that this is just going to have to be a goner and it's okay because we have a lot of other things going on right here don't we we have this beautiful yucca uh, we have another mangabe um, this looks like mission to mars which also has a lot of mealy see all that white stuff down in there um, what i can do take out this ferox and I can move this, looks like potatorum, this agave, into that spot. And we'll be good to go. So that's that on that. All right, moving along. I've got Kevin and Mel and Greg here with me today. We also brought some extra rock. Uh, our client was really, really pleased at how the garden held up throughout the torrential rains this winter. But, the, you know, still, this, for example, is really, really steep. And I shored it up with some, with some uh, rubble, but we still had lost some black 3-8. So we brought some of that that we can touch up. Okay. Tiny little bit of mealy in there on this, this Aztec King. This one also, and this is Silver Fox, and it's also got Mealybug. The Pelopsoceros azurus has a little bit of cochineal scale. See those little white thingies right there? And that's no bueno because those will scar the plant. So you can take your fingernail, you know, and you can knock those off. <laughs> then treat with an insecticidal soap or a neem oil, which basically just suffocates the pest. I, on an annual maintenance, will typically go chemical very specifically because I'm only gonna be here once a year and with the organic treatments, oftentimes you need to reapply multiple times. This beautiful stand of aloe cameronii, we're gonna dig out, cut and reset a couple of them so that they'll turn nice and red. I should also let you know that it's early fall here in San Diego, so that's a perfect time to do some prophylactic systemic treatments and, you know, just get everything ready for the impending cooler weather. This mangave, we are going to remove the bloom spike. It's ready to go. And also this will be dug out and just probably one piece reset because it's starting to crowd this barrel cactus. Then over here on this Hercules, we have sooty mold. That's what this is, this black sticky stuff. And it also has aphids, which probably love the black sooty mold. So 
This is another one that we can treat with an insecticidal soap. Uh, we can also treat it with a bear treat and shrub product and get that off and get all set to right. With that, let's see what's going on over here. Another, anywhere we see a Cameronii, we're going to take it out and cut off the roots and reset so that we can really pull that beautiful red color. The guys have already taken out this snow leopard and removed half of it and then just set a couple of pieces back in, which has really opened up this space where we can come back and just tuck in, you know, some rock, um, fix it that way. Beautiful, beautiful yucca restrata. Very, very happy. Looks good. We've had, you know, a few casualties in the softer succulent area. Um, probably going to pull, pull this out. Um, it's getting a little too infringing on the sidewalk. That euphorbia is doing great in that pot. And the cacti are doing fantastic. The um, Echinopsis rainbow burst. We've got a couple of these cuties in the garden and they have been blooming for her. Here's some blooms. And she's just so delighted with that. You can see where the client has trimmed this Crassula, um, because she just didn't know how to do it. The way to work with this plant, of course, is to take hunks of it, dig out the roots, and then reset the hunks so you don't have these scars to look at. All right, moving up in here. It looks like our client has been taking care of her portalocaria. <laughs> It's this cute little little ball, but hey, this is a coral reef, so that's a, that looks adorable, and I'm here for it. This little cactus is doing great. Looks like it has just recently bloomed. And then the sticks on fire. We planted this as cuttings, and it's looking a little floppy, isn't it? So I think we'll dig this out and reset a few pieces in more of an upright presentation. Not really loving the cotyledon in here. It seems really superfluous, so that'll likely come out today. Oh, I see some exposed irrigation right there. We'll bury that and cover with rock. And then, you know, like this little etchy here, it's just coming out of summer dormancy and it'll perk up and be fine. Um, so we're gonna, we won't worry with that. It's, a, it's not, not a problem. But yeah, this is so exciting. I always love the first maintenance on a baby garden. You know, and in time, see this blue glow and how, you know, it's super close to this crassula. Well, when the time comes, We'll pull out the crassula and just let the blue glow own that corner. No problemo. I'm gonna, I have that in mind over here too. This, ooh, this Desmediana Joe Hoke has thrown off pups. Hey guys, did you see that? That never That's happens. Yeah, look at all the babies. This plant doesn't generally pup and it kind of, it tends to bloom out usually within the first few years. So I don't use it a lot because, you know, once it's bloomed out, it's done. But this one gave us babies. One and then a couple back here. That's awesome. But I digress. The point was, when this bloomed out, I was going to move this beautiful agave back in its spot. So thinking ahead. Um, this is interesting. This little corn cob cactus right here, you see how sunburned it is, the brown. It's alive and it's fine, but it got a little harsh this summer. But take a look at the one over here where Greg's working. Oh my gosh, did you get that? You got that out already. Yeah. Wow, Greg's already got that ferox out. Incredible, and he's trimming back the roots. We're gonna treat that whole 
with a little systemic because of the aloe mite just to be on the safe side and then yeah I don't know I don't think we really need to move this potatorum well yeah I guess we can cram it in there um, but I wanted to show you guys this corn cob and see this one's not burnt and that's microclimates. This is a better spot for the plant. It's much happier here. But yeah, you know, that's the fun of succulents and cacti. You know, you can really go to town. You can plant like crazy with the understanding that in a year, two, three, five, ten, whatever, you can move stuff around. You can play with it. Uh, we're not married, you know, to any one application. And that's the fun of this. So when we finish this maintenance, we're going to have a ton of leftover plants cuttings for her to share with her neighbors in her neighborhood and you know the garden will just be so much better for it so I hope that this video was helpful to you guys um, welcome to our new channel subscribers please like turn on notifications share the videos and uh, keep coming back because we have all kinds of fun and exciting things coming up for you this fall this has been Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity bye guys